Here we are balancing nuclear equations and one of the key things of course is to make sure you have conservation of both the mass and the charge. Now the masses are the numbers at the top while your charge is at the bottom and the charge is the same thing as the atomic number, it's the same thing as the number of uh, protons. So if you notice number 92 is actually uranium. If you look up uranium in the periodic table you'd see that it's atomic number 92. So we have to balance everything on the left side of the equation has to equal everything on the right side of the equation. So if we look at our top, 235 plus 1 ends up being 236. But 92 plus 0 is still 92. So this ends up just being a different isotope of uranium. Remember, isotopes are the same element, but they have different numbers of neutrons, and therefore they have different atomic masses, and they might have different radioactivities. So some of these we just have to substitute uh, just by subtraction and then down at the bottom we'll look at some balancing equations. If we look at number two here we have radium 222 going through alpha decay 4 over 2 He is the alpha and basically we just have to subtract now so we started with 222 we've lost a mass of 4 so our balance would of course be 218 and apologize for the numbers there if we look at our charge at the bottom, we started with an 88, we lost 2, so now we are down to 86. We would then be able to look that up on the periodic table, and we would see on the periodic table that atomic number 86 is radon, Rn. All right, continuing, we have a particle A over Zx here, and we are losing we are losing the beta particle. Zero over minus one is the beta particle, so it would be going through beta decay, and we have a product here. So now we're trying to figure out what the original material was. Notice we have a zero, so that's not going to really change much. So we're still going to have 54 at the top. Again, can't get my stylus to work here. But at the bottom, people often have times of trouble, and they mess up the math here, especially when we'll, we'll see one down here at the bottom where we uh, look at that value change. Again, it's just a simple mass. So basically it's, you know, Z minus 1 equals 24. And again, if you wanted to do like a math problem, if you added, you know, plus 1 to each side, you'd realize that that would be a 25. We look up 25, that is Mn or manganese. Okay, not to be confused with Mg, which is magnesium. Down uh, at number 4 here, we see basically some iron, we have a neutron being slammed into it, we have a hydrogen or a proton being given off, and we need to solve for the unknown. So now we do have to have some little math, but again, almost the 1s would almost cancel out if you look at those 1s right there. So I'm still going to end up with 54 at the top, and notice again we have 26 and 0. i got to end up with 26 at the bottom. So I have my 1 plus whatever also has to end up being 26, so again it ends up actually being 25. So this is actually the same isotope that was in question number 4. If we look at number 5, 238 plus 12 is 250. So when we look at this part, this is the thing that we need to focus on because there's four of these pieces here with 4a over z axis. So 246 subtracted from the original 250 leaves me with 4 but notice I already have four of them, so that's really each one. Don't write a four there, you gotta make sure you check your math because there's you know, an expansion property there. And down at the bottom, we have 92 plus six, of course, equals 98. I already have my 98 there, so this one is gonna be a zero. The only thing I could add in there would be zero, so when you look up on your reference table a particle that's one over zero, that particle is gonna be the neutron, okay? One over zero N. And we've seen that through a couple examples already. It was up in number one, it was down, or it was in question number four as well. For question number six, A over Z plus a helium gives us all these other pieces. Now, one of the things I wanna highlight you need to focus on is that there are two of those particles down here, so you have to include that into the actual math. So if we take that part really here and kinda of work our way backwards, really that's two right there plus another one, that's three, plus 245 is a total of 248. We already have four, so I need, of course, another 244 to add up my 248. I wanna make sure everything that I start with is the same as what I finished with on both sides of the equation. My zero doesn't really count down at the bottom over here, but I have one plus 97 is 98. I already have a two over here, two plus 
96 in this case would be 98 as well, and that would be element CM according to your reference tables. Number seven, we have some uranium and a neutron with a couple different products here. And again, notice and focus the three neutrons that are in there. So really I have three plus 139 is a total of 142. And over here I have 236. So I gotta do the math and if we subtract 236 minus the 142, we actually get a total of 94. And then at the bottom again, zero and 56, that's not gonna change much. I have to add up my Z in there to figure out what adds up with the 0 and the 92. Basically 92 minus 56 is the math and you're going to end up with 36 which is element KR, old Krypton. Some simpler math down at the bottom, we have 2 plus 3 is equal of course to 5, so of course my letter A there is going to be a 4 plus 1. And then of course we have 2 at the bottom, I have nothing here with a 0 so that's got to be 2 and that is 4 over 2 HE and remember you can also see 4 over 2 is written as like that uh, alpha symbol which kinda looks like a fish so we'll give him some happy faces there now speaking of alpha, alpha emission is a particle, remember the alpha particle is a big particle, it's kinda like a bowling ball going through relative to the beta which would be more like a spit wad but even though alpha might be the slower moving it causes a lot of damage if you get it ingested or inhaled so the alpha again 4 over 2 HE, and again, it's just a simple math problem, plus you're going to have another product, so we subtract 4 from that, so of course we're going to be left with 210, and we subtract 2 from this, and we're left with 82, and then our product is good old lead, PB. Beta emission, this is where people have problems, I mentioned this up at the top, 0 over minus 1 E, or if you want that funny looking B symbol, you can do that as well. The number for the atomic number always goes up when you have beta emission, but your final product atomic number usually goes down when you have alpha. So if you notice from the alpha from number one, we went from 84 to 82, but from bismuth, we're going to go from 83 up to 84. So our mass isn't going to change, 210 is going to stay at the top, and then we're going to have 84 at the bottom, because in reality, 84 minus 1 is going to really be our 83. Then we have to look up what 84 is, and that is PO. And then finally, neutron emission, again, 0 over 1n, and that's going to change the mass by 1, 106, but my atomic value or my charge is going to stay the same, so we still have silver. And that is alpha and beta decay and nuclear balancing equations.